Shabbat Shalom, names. We all have lots of names. Our given name, our nicknames, our title, our relational names. So I'm Ehud. When I was a little kid, I was Udi. Today I'm Rabbi or Rav, Dad and Abba, son, brother, and hopefully somebody, sweetie. The different names that we call one another reveal a different aspect of who we are or of our relationship to the person who's calling us. So too with God. God has many names in the Bible. El, Elohim, El Shaddai, El Elyon, Adonai, and the name that we no longer pronounce, it's spelled yud heh vav -Hey. When God called Moshe to lead the Israelites out of slavery, one of Moshe's objections was that he didn't know God's name or how to refer to God. God's famous reply is, Ehye asher ehye, I am what I am, or I will be what I will be. This name, which is spelled Aleph Hey Yud Hey, is similar to God's personal name, spelled Yud Hey Vav Hey, and maybe it's an explanation of it. Yud Hey Vav Hey could be translated simply as being or existence. According to Rabbi Jacob Milgram, Ehiye Asher Ehiye can be understood as God saying, I am different, or you experience my being, my existence, in different ways at different times. You can't fully encompass me in one name because that's too limiting. You can use different names at different times based on what you're experiencing or what you need. So sometimes God is Avinu, God is our Father, close like a parent. And sometimes God is Malkinu, our King, distant and powerful like a sovereign. When Moshe first told the Israelites that yud heh vav -Heh had heard their cries and would redeem them, they actually weren't relieved. Maybe he needed to tell them the explanation of God's name. Because the point is God is always there, always existing, ready to connect with us. We just have to come up with the right name at that time. Look forward to seeing you in the Shabbat at TRC, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. for birthday Shabbat, and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Shabbat Shalom.